Yes, greetings family. We're here at Constitutional Hill. We have an incredible presentation for you. All I need is the total. I got you guys. I'm coming right on in. Welcome to Constitutional Hill. So family, this is one of our dynamic uh, sites that tells the history and the struggles of our people here in South Africa. Visitor Center. They, take, they say that it's offline. That's really funny. They just need to write something, give me a total number. Okay. Uh, give me a number and I'll just give them cash then. That's why we come prepared because you're gonna always hear that something is offline, the car machine don't work or something. You can take also videos. Please come this way for Yes, so family, this is us here at Constitutional Hill. Yes, yes, family. Early morning movement. Thank everybody for being ready, ready to roll. We're gonna have a nice long day. Hope everybody's excited. <laughs> Diba's Journey app. That's one thing about uh, South Africa. You come here, it's like Nelson Mandela's world and no one else. But our goal is to share with you more of the other freedom fighters along with Nelson Mandela because it's a lot of other people that doesn't always get recognized. So you'll hear about them here at well, Constitutional Hill. Yes, Baba. And our good sister, Hosi, is going to also just yeah, encourage the energy. So this is actually a great exhibition and it's, it's, an, it's a very interesting place to where you can learn a whole lot. Winter morning, uh, winter, early morning in Johannesburg. I had to strip naked, stand naked. Then she said, squat. I'm looking at Swan, so what the hell is this woman saying? She said, squat. I'm telling you that the squat of my legs open and she shone a torch up our vaginas. Then she said, open your case. Mm. Open the case. She took the case and she threw it now onto the topic. This poor night, girls are really now picking up all our clothes in the back of the case. And I think, but as prisoners, also tell us how they resisted these humiliations. They were taken aback that we stood up to them. We never called them bias. 